Hello children. Today we are going to discuss about the computer system. That is your chapter one. So here we go. What is computer system? A computer has many parts. All the parts of the computer together make the computer system. As you see in your picture, there is the computer system, which includes. all the essential parts of a computer that is monitor keyboard mouse and cpu next two components of computer hardware hardware is that part of computer which you can see and touch for example monitor keyboard mouse and the part inside the cpu these parts you can easily see and touch software software is that part of a computer which makes the hardware work software cannot be touched for example windows paint microsoft word logo etc all these are software or a program we work on it but we cannot touch them input devices input devices are those devices that are used to enter data and instructions into the computer the most usual input devices are a keyboard and a mouse here you will see the picture of joystick what is joystick it is a point and device which is used to play games on the computer a joystick has many buttons which can be used to give input to the computer then you will see the microphone over here it record voice music and sound into the computer its another name is mic the last one is touch screen touch screen like tablet computers and smartphones have touch screen which act both as input and output devices the next is processing devices the central processing unit that is cpu processes the input given by the input devices it actually execute the instructions whatever is typed through the keyboard or done with mouse goes to the cpu the cpu processes it and send the result on monitor you can see the picture of cpu in the screen and the extra point is amd and ibm are some well known manufacturers of processors output devices the devices on which the output is produced after processing is called output devices first monitor it looks like a tv as you see in the picture it is also known as the vdu that is visual display unit the output that we see on the monitor's screen is called soft copy like picture then printer the printer help us to take the output on a sheet of paper this printed paper copy is called hard copy like a document a photocopy of any document is said to be hard copy then speakers speakers give output in the form of music or sound which you listen in your computers then projector usually you can see your projector in your classrooms so a projector shows the output on a very large screen so that many people can see it at the same time the next is storage devices the computer uses data and software so the computer needs devices to store data and softwares for this the computer uses storage device or memory devices so here are the example of some storage devices first is hard disk the hard disk is fixed inside the cpu box it stores a huge amount of information then the next is cd or dvd cd 
that stands for compact disk is a shiny disk that can store information such as documents, images, music, videos or games. DVD that is digital video disk is like a CD but it can store much more information than a CD. CDs and DVDs can be carried around. Last is pen drive. A pen drive is a very small object but can store a lot of information. It is very useful in moving data from one computer to another. So that's all for this chapter. Hope you understand. If you understand then these are some exercises. Just do it in your notebook and utilize the time. Thank you and have a nice day.